सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एम एन कोचिंग सेंटर सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू आई दैट इज योर हिस्ट्री इज फर्स्ट चैप्टर द हरपन सिविलाइजेशन ऑफ योर टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड सोशल आई सी सी बी एस ई मीडियम सो सॉरी टेंथ नोट नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड आई आर दैट ऑल्सो आई सी एस सी मीडियम सो इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर यू हैव लर्न अबाउट द पीपल इन प्री हिस्टोरिक टाइम्स दे वेर यूज ट्रीइंग टूल्स एज यू नो इन ओल्ड एज दे वेर यूजिंग टूल्स एंड वेपन्स दैट वेर मेड अप ऑफ स्टोन लेटर आफ्टर दैट मे मैन स्टार्टेड using man started using metals copper was the first metal to be used by the man for making their tools and gradually several cultural development in indian subcontinent that were based on the use of stone and copper tools only that were stone and copper tools only mainly used and these also used used bronze a mixture of copper and tin and for this purpose this phase in history is known as the चालो चालको लिथिक चालको कॉपर पीरियड लिथिक स्टोन पीरियड द ब्रिटिस्ट चैप्टर इन द चालको लिथिक पीरियड इन इंडिया इज थारापन सिविलाइजेशन दैट इज आल्सो रेफर्ड टू एज द इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन हरपा Harappan civilization that was discovered in 1920 to 22 when two of its most important sites were excavated these were harappa that was on the banks of the river ravi and mohenjodaro on the bank of the river indus so the first was excavated by dr t or sahani and the second that is mohenjodaro was exp was excavated by r d banerjee on the basis of the archaeological findings the harappan civilization has been dated between it was from 2600 bc to 9900 bc and sorry it may be mistake so 2900 to 2600 and is one of the oldest civilization in the world and it is also sometimes it is referred as indus valley civilization because in the beginning the majority of the settlements that discover that were discovered were in the around the plains of the rivers in the indus and its near tributaries its tributaries the people were living but today it is termed as the harappan civilization because harappa was the first site was the first place which brought or uh, to little the presence of this civilization and besides recent archaeological finding indicate that this civilization it spread much be it spread much beyond the indus valley and therefore it is better it is uh, better it is called as harappan civilization it is first uh, it is the first urban culture of india and is contemporaneous with other ancient civilization of the world like mesopotamian and egypt civilization and our knowledge of life and culture of the harappan people is based on only the archaeological excavation as the scripts of the period has not been deciphered so far the harappan civilization they did not appear all of sudden but it developed gradually from the neolithic village culture and it is believed that the better technology to exploit the fertile plains of river indus might have resulted to increase their agricultural production and this led to the production of large surplus to feed and maintain the non agricultural people such as the artisans administrators many other people and it also helped in the promotion of exchange or trading contacts with many different different regions and brought prosperity in harappa uh, to the harappan people and they were able to set up their cities by this by around 2000 bc several regional culture developed in different parts of the subcontinent which were also based on the use of the stones and copper tools they were using the chalcolithic culture chalcolithic culture which lay outside the harappan zone were not so rich and flourishing but these were basically rural in nature the original and developed of these cultural is is placed in chronological span between circa 2000 bc to 
and these are found in western and central india and are described as non harappan chalcolithic culture after this the original and extent of them is the uh, archaeological that uh, remain shows that before the emerge of harappan civilization the people they li- uh, they lived in a small village, a village as the time passed there were the emerge of small towns which ultimately led the full fledged towns that made big towns during the harappan period and the whole period of harappan civilization is divided in three phases first one is earlier phase the earlier harappan phase Uh, that is 2600 to 3500 bc it was marked by some two some town planning in the form of mud structure elementary grade and many other things next is mature harappan phase that is 2000 uh, 1900 to th- 2600 it was the period in which we notice well developed towns in burnt brick structure inland and foreign trade and many other things in harappan and lost is the late harappan phase that is 1400 to 1900 bc it is uh, it was the phase of the decline during the many cities were abandoned and make trade disappear leading to gradual decay of the significant urban trades The archaeological ex- excavation revealed that this culture was spread over vast area in India that includes not only the present day states of India like Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, Gujarat, Maharashtra, West Bengal, um, uh, Uttar Pradesh but also Pakistan and parts of Afghanistan were also following the Harappan civilization rules and some important sites of Harappan civilization are Manda in Jammu and kashmir shortugai in afghanistan harappa in west bengal pagi sorry western punjab sorry there is it uh, pakistan and mohenjadaro and chanhudaro in sindh and kalibangan in rajasthan lothal and dholovira in gujarat banawali sutnwal sutka gendor on the makran coast Uh, Selection and Alam Girpur in West uh, Uttar Pradesh. It is some of the eastern most important places uh, that were followed by uh, Arapan civilization rules they followed, and also some places the Arapan civilization made. The location of settlement suggests the Arapan. suggest that the harappa kalibangan mohenjadaro axis was the heartland of the civilization and most of the settlements are located in the religion this area had some of the certain they have uniform features in terms like soil type climate subsistence pattern and the land was flat and dependent on the monsoon and the himalayan rivers for the supply of water due to its distinct geographical feature agro pastoral economy was dominant feature in this uh, in this region beside all these settlements beside all beside the urban settlements of the hara of the harappan there were many of many sites inhabited by the primitive commitments concerning of stone age hunter gatherers or pastoral and on uh, and nomads which exist side by side some sites served as ports or trading outposts outposts and it may be noted that the important determining determinants of urbanization are well planned cities specialized arts and crafts trade taxation scripts etc in this respect harappan culture fulfilled all these criteria that is being called as urban culture next town planning the most interesting urban feature of harappan civilization is town planning it is marked by considerable uniformity though one can notice some regional variation as well it is noticed in the layout of the structure brick size trains in many other things almost all the major sites that are
parts a citadel and uh, or on higher mound on the western side and a lower town on the eastern side of the settlements and the citadel contains large structure which might have functioned as administration or ritual centers and the residential buildings are built in the lower towns the streets intersects each other at right uh, at uh, right angles in the criss cross pattern and it divides the city in and the main street is connected by a narrow lanes the houses of common people however different in size from a single room house in harappa the to bigger structure the houses were largely built of the burnt bricks the bigger houses and had many rooms surrounding a square courtyard also it has and these houses were provided with private wells kitchens bathing platforms it was provided and the in the bigger house and the difference in the size of the house suggests that the rich people lived in the large houses whereas one room building or barracks might have been intended for the poorer uh, section of the society next the drainage the drainage system of harappa was elaborated and well laid out every house has drains which opened into the straight drains and the drains were covered with manholes bricks or stone slabs that were constructed at regular intervals by the side of the street for cleaning and this shows that the people were well acquainted with the signs of sanitation see here you can see the great bath of manjadaro here picture you can see next let us know some of the major structural remains of the harappan town at mohenjadaro a great bath it is the most important structure that picture you have saw now it is surrounded by see this picture it is, so it is surrounded by corridor corridors corridors it is surrounded you can see on all sides and is approached at either end i by a flights of steps in north and south and it thin layer of bitumen was applied to bed of the bath to ensure the water did not uh, come out and water was supplied by a large well in an adjacent room there was a drain for outlet there was a drain for outlet of the water and the bath was surrounded by sets of rooms on side for changing their cloth they were room set of rooms there for changing their clothes and scholars believe that the great bath was used for ritual bathing and an other structure here located to the west of great bath is the granary and it consists of several rectangular blocks of bricks for storing grains so uh, storing grains so the Yes. next a granary has also been found at harappa it is the rows of circular bricks platform which were used for threshing grains and this is known as the finding of chaffs of wheat and barley uh, the threshing of grains is known at lothal a brick structure has been identified as it is a dockyard meant for betting ships like it is a dockyard where you know betting ships and handling cargoes big big ship and this suggests that lothal was an important port and trading center for harappan people as they were doing many agriculture heavy agriculture in starting land they were getting huge crops for selling it to other countries these uh, they were using cargoes and ships agriculture next there's no economic activities in the harappan civilization in that agriculture see so no agriculture the prosperity of harappan civilization was based on its flourishing economic activities like agriculture arts crafts and trades the availability of fertile indus alluvium contributed them for surplus in agricultural production and it helped the harappan people to indulge in exchange both internal and external with others and also develop 
craft industries in Arapan. So agriculture along with pastoralism was the base for Arapan economy and and the granaries that discovered at the sites like Harappa, Manjara and Lothal, they served them as the storehouse for grains and we do not have any clear evidence of the tools they were using for agriculture. However, the furrows or plog markers have been observed some in the field of Kalibangan. So, these indicates the plog cultivation was used by the Harappan people and a terracotta plog has also been reported from Barnawali in Hisar districts of Haryana and the irrita, irriga, sorry, irrigation was carried on a small scale by drawing water from well or by diverting river water into channels. The chef food crops included wheat, barley, sesame, mustard, peas, jujube, etc. The evidence for rice has become has come from Lothal and Rangpur in the form of husk embedded in pottery and cotton was another important crop for them a piece of of woven cloth has been found in Mohenjo-daro and apart from cereals fish uh, apart from the cereal fish and animal meats also formed a part of Harappan diet also it where they were finding that next industries and crafts in Harappan civilization the Harappan people were aware of all the metals except iron the manufacture of gold and silver object the gold object include beads armlets needles and other ornaments but the use of silver was more common than gold in the harappan civilization a large number of silver ornaments dishes many other things were made in the during the civilization and a new uh, a number of copper tools and weapons have also been discovered and the common tools like eggs, swaths, chisels, knives, spare heads and arrow heads. It is an important to note that the weapons produced by Harappans were mostly defensive in, nat in nature as there is no evidence of weapons like swords, anything. Stone tools were also commonly used by them and copper was brought mainly from Ketri, Ketri that is in Rajasthan and gold might have been obtained from the Himalayan river beds and South India and silver from the Mesopotamia and we also have the evidence of the use of bronze through the uh, bronze by them by a limited in a limited manner and the most famous specimen in this uh, regard is bronze dancing girl figurine discovered by Mohenjo-daro. It is a nude female figure with right arms on the hip and left arms hanging on dancing pose. She is wearing a large number of bangles. The bead making also was an important craft. Beads were made for Precious and semi precious stones such as agate, car, state, or making beads, and the evidence of breed making shops have been found in Chanhudaro and Lothar. Also, been found and ivory carving and inlaying used in beads and bracelets and other decorations were also in practice. The Harappan thus showed this, showed their mastery skill in a variety of arts and crafts. So, here you can see dancing girl by Mohinjadaro. A well-known piece of art of Harappan period is a stone sculpture of a bared man that was discovered by Mohenjo-daro. His eyes are half closed indicating a posture of meditation. Across the left shoulder is an 
embroidered clock. In the opinion of some scholars, it could be a bust of a priest. A large number of terracotta figurines of males and females have been discovered from various serpent sites, and the female figurines outnumber those of males and are believed and are believed to represent the worship of mother goddesses and beside this a variety of models of birds monkeys dogs sheep cattle humped and humpless bulls they are found however the noteworthy specimens in this regard are various models of terracotta cards pottery making was also an important industry in harappan period and these were chiefly well made and were treated with a red coated and had decoration in black and these are found in various sizes and shapes and the painted designs consist of horizontal lines of varied thickness leaf patterns palm and paper trees birds fishes and animals are also depicted on pottery the harappan manufactured seals of various kinds more than 2000 seals were has been discovered from different sites by harappan civilization people and these were generally square in shape and were made of a statue type and it is noteworthy that while the seals depict a number of any number of animals there is no resp- representation of horse on these it has led many scholars to argue that horse was not known to the harappan people though there are other who do not accept these arguments besides various kinds of animals the harappan seals contains some signs in the harappan scripts which however has not been deciphered so far the most famous of the seals is the one with a horned male deity represents on it he has three heads and is sitting in a yogic posture surrounded by four animals like uh, that is elephant tiger rhinoceros and a buffalo he has been identified by many scholars with an ancient form of god pashupati that is the lord of peace to though there are other who dispute their identification and this was that seal so see seal of pashupati here you can see this is seal of seal of pashupati and this is terracotta cart that was being brought by that was brought from kalibangan and here you can see the sculpture of beard man the sculpture of beard man here you can see and terracotta human and animal figure figurines you can see here see here animal figure here terracotta human figurines you can see next after this after agriculture after industries next is trade as you know trading is most important in any whether it may be old age any day they, they may doing some trade of food or anything so trading network both internal with the country and external with foreign was a significant feature for a uh, urban economy of the harappan harappans and as the urban population had to depend on the surrounding countryside for supply of food and many other necessary products there emerged a village town rural urban interrelationship similarly the urban craftsmen needed market to sell their goods in other areas so it led to the contact between the towns for this it led to the contact between the to- towns and the traders also established contact with foreign lands particularly mesopotamia and potamia where these goods were in demand next it is important to note that various kinds of metals and precious stones were needed by were needed by craftsmen to make goods but as these were not available locally they had to be brought from outside or from foreign the presence of such raw material found at sites away from the place of its origin naturally indicates it must have reached there though the exchange activity thus rajasthan region 
that is a rich in copper deposits and the harappa acquires copper mainly from k3 mines located there and kolar gold fields in karnataka and the river beds of himalaya might have supplied the gold and the source of silver may have been jor mines in rajasthan and it is believed that it must have also come from mesopotamia in exchange of harappan goods also in this among the precious stones used by for making beads the source of lapis lazuli was located by badakhshan mines in northern afghanistan turquoise and jade might have been brought from central asia western india supplied agate chalcedony and carnelian and the seashells must have come from gujarat and neighboring coastal areas and the timber of good quality and other forest products were perhaps obtained from other regions like northern regions like uh, such as jammu so like this the harappans were they were engaged in external trade with mesopotamia also they were doing the trade it was largely though oman and bahrain in the persian gulf it is confirmed by the presence of harappan artifacts such as beads in stays etc in these regions and though the artifacts from those regions are rarely found in harappan sites a seal of western west asia or persian origin has been discovered at lothal which confirms this contact and mesopotamian sites like susa ur etc that have yielded about two dozen of harappan seals besides seals uh, other artifacts of harappan origin which have been discovered including pottery is etched carnel etched carnelian beads and dices with harappan features the inscriptional evidence from mesopotamia also provided us with valuable information on harappan contact with mesopotamia these inscriptions refers to trade with dilman magan and meluha scholars have identified meluha with harappan region magan with Ma- within makran coast and dilman with bahrain they indicate that mesopotamia imported copper carnelia ivory shell lapis lazuli pearls and ebony from melhula and the export from mesopotamia to harappa included items like garments wool perfumes leather products and silver except silver all these products are perceivable this may be one important reason why we do not find the remains of these goods at harappan sites why we did not find it on harappan site for this it may be a main reason next nay social differentiation the harappan society appears to have been much matriarchal in nature this view is based on the popularity of the mother goddesses as indicated by the finding of a large number of terracotta female figurines in punjab and sindh region as harappan script has not been deciphered till now we have to satisfy over ourselves with the limited information on this issue the harappan society comprised of people following diverse profession and these includes the priests the warriors peasants traders and artisans the structure remains at sites such as harappa and lothal show the different types of buildings that were used as residence by different classes they used as residence and the presence of a class of workmen is proved by workmen quarter near the granary at harappa similarly the workshops and houses made for coppersmith and bedmakers have 
been discovered at Lothal. In fact, we can say that those who lived in larger houses belonged to the rich class, whereas those living in the barracks like workmen quarters were from the class of laborers, we can say. Our limited knowledge about the dressing style comes from the terracotta figurines and stone sculptures of that period. Men are mostly shown wearing a dress wrapped around lower half of the body with one end worn over with the le- over the left shoulder and under the right arm. The other garment was a skirt, uh, skirt like dress to cover the lower portion. They used cotton and woolen cloths. A piece of woolen cloth has been found in has been found in Moinjadaro. Spindles and needles discovered at many sites attached to practice of spinning and weaving. Harappan people love to decorate themselves. Hair dressing by both men and women is evident from figurines found at different sites. The men as well as women arranged their hair in different styles. The people were also fond of ornaments. These many include necklaces, armlets, uh, earrings, spades, bangles, many other things were used by both the sexes, may both men and women, and rich people appears to have used the ornaments of gold, silver and semi-precious stones while the poor satisfied themselves with those of terracotta. Next, religious beliefs and practices. Our knowledge our knowledge on the religious beliefs and practices of Arapa is largely based on the Arapa seals and terracotta figures available to us. The Arapan religion is normally termed as animism, worship of trees, stone, etc. A large number of terracotta figures discovered at the Arapan sites that have been associated with the worship of mother goddesses and many of these represent female adorned with a wide cradle, loin cloths and necklaces. They wear a fan shaped headdress. In same case sorry, in some case the female is shown with an infant while there is one uh, there is one that shows a plant growing out of the uterus of woman. The later type probably symbolizes the goddesses of earth. There are many scholars who refer to the worship of Linga, Bhalus and Yoni, females as ordered by the Harappa, but some are doubtful about that. So, mother goddesses from Mohenjadar picture you can see. So, Harappan belief in male deity is evident by a seal depositing a deity with a buffalo horned headdress sitting in a yogic posture and surrounded by some animals. Many scholars identify him with God Pushpati, Lord of Beasts or Proto Shiva thought some disputed. In another instance, a deity is shown with horns and flowing hair standing nude between the branches of papal trees and worshipper is kneeling in front. In many representatory worship, animal worship also appears to be popular in the Harappan civilization. Evidence of fire worship has also been found at some sites such as Kalibanga and Lothal. At Kalibanga, a series of raised brick platforms with pits containing ash and animal bones have been discovered and these are identified by many scholars as fire altars. This also shows that Harappa living in different areas followed different religious practices as there is no evidence of fire pits at Harappa and Mohenjadaro. The burial practice and the ritual related with them have been 
a very important aspect of religion in any culture however in this context harappan site has not yielding any moment such as pyramid of egypt or the royal cement at your in mesopotamia dead bodies were generally rested in north south direction with their head here you can see the picture of mother goddesses from mohenjo-daro north south head and towards north and the feet towards south the dead were buried with a varying number of are the pots in some graves the dead were buried along with goods such as bangle beads copper mirrors this may indicate that the harappan believed in life after death at lothal the three joint or double burials with female and male bodies together were discovered kalibanga has yielded a evidence of a symbolic burial along a burial which contains pots but no bones or skeletons these different practices in different regions of harappan civilization may reflect diversity in religion beliefs so humid pool seals humbled pool seals from mohenjo-daro here you can see the harappa were literate people harappan seals are engraved with various signs or characters recent studies suggest that the harappan script consists of about 400 signs and that way it was written from right to left however the script has not been decipher has said it is believed that they used ideograms a graphic symbol or character to convey the idea directly we do not know the language they spoke those scholars believe that they spoke brahui a dialect used by balhuchi people in pakistan today however further research alone can unian will the mystery and unable us to know more about the harappan scripts let us decline of the harappan civilization the harappan civilization flourished till 1900 bc the period of following this is marked by the beginning of the post urban phase or this phase was characterized by a gradual disappearance of the major trades such as town planning art of writing uniformity in weights and measures homogeneity in pottery designs many other things the regress covered by a period from 1400 to 1900 bc there was also the shrinking in the settled areas for instance mohenjo daro was reduced to small settlements of 3 hectares from the original 85 hectare towards to the end of the late phase the population appears to have shifted to other areas it is indicated by the large number of new settlements in the outlying area in the areas like gujarat uh, east punjab haryana and upper dobe during later urban period they find their places there so it's a it is suggested by some scholars that natural calamities such as floods and earthquakes might have caused the decline of civilization it is believed the earthquakes might have raised the level of flood plains of the lower course of the indus river it blocked the passage of the river water of the sea and resulted in the flood which might have swallowed the city of the mohenjo-daro however this only explained the decline of mohenjo-daro and not of whole civilization only decline of mohenjo-daro increased aridity and drying up of river 
Gagar Harka on account of change in river course. According to some scholars, might have contributed to the decline. This theory states that there was an increase in arid condition by around 2000 BC. This might have affected agricultural production and led to their agricultural production and led to their decline. Aryan invasion theory is also put forward as a cause for the decline and according to this the Harappan civilization was destroyed by Aryans who come to India from northwest around 1500 BC. However, on the basis of closer and critical analysis of data, this view is completely negated today. Thus, there is no single cause that can explain how the Harappan civilization was finished totally. At the maximum, this can explain the decay of certain sites or areas only. Hence, each theory has met with criticism. Nevertheless, the archaeological evidence indicates that the Harappan civilization did not collapse all of a sudden but declined gradually and ultimately merged with other local cultures. It merged merged with other local cultures, major Chalcolithic cultures and their chief sites. The important non-Harappan Chalcolithic cultures lay mainly in Western India and Deccan. These include Banas culture that is from 2000 to 2600 BC in Southeast Rajasthan with Ahar and near Gujarat and Glund as its key sites and Khaita culture that is from 2000 to 2100 BC with Kaitha in Chambal as it is chief sites in Madhya Pradesh. Malwa culture that is from 1400 to 1700 that is with Naudato Naudato in western western Madhya Pradesh as an important site and Jorve culture in 1700 to 1400 BC with Enamgon and Chandoli near Pune in Maharashtra has its chief centers. And the evidence of the Chalkrati culture also comes from the eastern Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Bengal. It may be noted that the non harappan Chalkrati culture though flourished the different region. They were marked by basic uniformity in various aspects such as their mud structure, farming and hunting activity, use of well um, made potteries the potteries of these charcoality culture including ochre, ochre colored pottery black and red ware and has been found in the shape of various kind of bowls basin spotted jars with concave necks dishes on stand and many other things tools implements and other objects the charcoality culture and char or characterized by the use of tools made of copper as well as stone they use chalcedonic chat etc for making stone tools the major tools used were long parallel sided plates pen nibs lunettes triangles and trapezes some of the blade tools were used in agriculture main copper objects were used including flat axes arrowheads spearheads chisels fish hooks sword blades bangles rings and beads beads made of carnelian jasper chalcedony alligator shell many other things frequently occurred in excavation in this context the finding from daimabad hoard and or noteworthy and the discovery include bronze rhino saras elephant two wheel chariot with a rider and a buffalo these are some of the massive and weigh over 60 kilograms from kaitha chambal valley also copper object with sharp cutting edges that have been recovered and these reflect the skills of craftsmen of the harappan period Next, substance economy. The people of these settlements subsisted on agriculture and cattle rearing. However, they are practiced hunting and fishing. The main crop 
tips of the period include rice, barley, lentils, wheat, chawar, coarse scram, pea, green gram, many other things. It is to be noted that the major parts of this culture of forest is in the zone of black soil and useful mainly for growing cotton also. Skeleton remains from the site suggests the presence of domestic catted and wild animals in these cultures and the important domesticated animals were cattle, sheep, goat, dog. Next is the dog, uh, they used goat, dog, pig, horse, etc. The wild animals included black bull, antelope, nilgai, parasinga, sambal, cheta, wild buffalo, and one horned rhino. The bones of fish, waterfall, turtle, and rodents were also were discovered. Thousands habitations of Harappan people. The Chalcolithic cultures were characterized by golden settlement and the people lived in rectangular circular houses with the mud walls and thick thatched roofs. Most of the houses were single roomed but some had two or three rooms. The floors were made of burnt clay or may clay may with clay, river gravy. More than two hundred feet of Jowar culture Maharashtra have been found. The settle of Imagon Jor culture sugar cane suggests that some kind of planning was adopted in laying of their settlement for making their houses they use some kind of plan so okay friends this was your chapter the harappan civilization so uh, i think you understand your ninth standard icc is the first chapter so okay friends like the video comment on my and subscribe my channel and for more video i will see my next video then take care Let's take.